Hey folks, uh, I usually don't post product reviews, but um, I just got two pretty nice high dollar, basically I guess you call them rain shell jackets, and some of the stuff I found, so one of these is going to be going back, and I'll, I'll tell you about that in a minute, but one of the things I found, uh, it, it was something I just didn't see posted anywhere else. Uh, I didn't see it listed in any of my research, which was sort of surprising to me. So for that reason, I thought it would be helpful for the next guy out there looking at a couple of these brands. might save you a little bit of pain. Um, so with that, I'm, I'm not going to go into all of the features and benefits of these jackets here. we got a Kuyu Yukon rain jacket. Here I've got a First Light Seek Storm Tight, so there's plenty of uh, places on the web you can find where all the zippers and everything. Instead, I'm just going to go specifically compare and contrast the difference and one of the problems I found uh, with the Yukon jacket, which is why I'm going to be returning that jacket. Um, so real quick, between the two, actually material-wise, I think the the Yukon actually feels nicer. It's a little bit softer feel. It's a little bit stretchier. I'm about six foot 195. These are both larges. They fit fine. I would say the sleeves of the Yukon are a little more, a little larger, a little looser in the arm. The body seemed about the same for both. But the problem with this jacket stems from these the cuffs uh, specifically the rubberized cuffs which is ironic because when I was doing my pre-purchase research the whole reason I bought the Kuyu was because I thought these rubber cuffs would be better but I can assure you um, they're not uh, I'm sure this is something they probably already know and will probably be fixed in, in future iterations but right now this just does not work and I'll tell you why it's really bizarre uh, first of all you can never cinch uh, these sleeves tight enough to be truly water waterproof there's always a little fold you know in here when you cinch it around your sleeve so it's never completely watertight and what happens on this particular sleeve and I did a lot of water testing with this jacket <clears throat> is the water, first of all it sheds really nicely off this sleeve but it tends to uh, roll down the sleeve and it will roll in this little fold uh, where you have to you know velcro the wrist and for some reason it just I guess the best way I could say it sort of wicks around the rubber so I mean it's not like the rubber leaks per se but as the water runs down the sleeve it just sort of rolls under that rubber and then as soon as you put your arm uh, your hand above elbow height it rolls right back in the sleeve you have wet sleeve so just to be clear none of this jacket material leaked this isn't a leaky jacket it's just that this sleeve absolutely will let water in when I was testing it I kept getting my sleeves wet I didn't understand why because I really wanted to like this jacket but this uh, cuff design does not work. I mean I tested it dozens of times to make sure there was not something else weird happening but uh, this will let water in your sleeves if you move at all and I'm not talking about you know putting your hand up I'm saying just leaving even with your sleeve down normal movements the water wicks. Another negative is that this interior fabric it feels nicer to your skin than the seek and I'll get to that in a second but it really wicks water if you do get it wet for instance when you do get the sleeves wet here around this cuff which is going to happen as soon as the water hits this face fabric it just it just wicks and keeps wicking up the sleeve and it is a bear to dry out um, I was shocked how long this takes to dry if you get it wet and that's inside of a house so I can't imagine what it would be in actual field conditions. So for that reason, um, I hung under this for a couple weeks and I bought a storm tight jacket, which I'm going to look at here in a second. Um, and that's going to be the one I'm keeping in this Yukon, although I'd really like to like it. It's, it's going to be going back. So real quick here on the storm tight, 
it's the material is not as stretchy. It's a little crinklier. I mean, neither of them are what you would call a real quiet jacket, but if you were just to see these two in a rack and just feel them, mess with them, you would probably prefer the Yukon because this, although this has a little bit of stretch, it's not near the stretch of the of the Yukon jacket. However, there's good to that, and that is this interior fabric um, around the cuffs. Uh, if if any water does seep in here it dries really quickly. This material, both the exterior and interior, just doesn't want to get wet. It doesn't want to stay wet. Um, I tested these side by side with the cuff designs. This is just sort of what I would call a somewhat standard Velcro cuff, but you could... I, I can't stress how much drier your lower arm is with this jacket than the Yukon. It's, it's just amazing. I would have never ever guess that if I didn't uh, test it myself but water just doesn't want to get in here uh, with normal movement and if it does seep a little bit this dries really quickly with the Yukon jacket your lower arms are going to get wet and once they get wet it just keeps creeping up the arm and you're going to have wet lower arms so you know that was that's really my main findings with these two jackets uh, that cuff issue is, is sort of what I wanted to share with people because you're going to spend you know, upwards of $400 on a rain jacket. Um, I, I want the whole jacket to be dry. I want the area around my hands and wrists, which is you know, a problem that you have on a really wet day. It's, it's no fun if your arms from your elbows down are wet. And uh, for that reason, um, this uh, Seek Storm Tight is going to be my jacket uh, going forward. So hopefully this helps you folks making a decision. Thanks.